SEO on Wix website. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a full breakdown on how to do SEO for your Wix website even if you're just starting out. I'll show you step by step how to optimize your pages, improve your rankings, and make sure that your Wix site shows up on Google. This guide is beginner friendly but packed with professional tips so stay tuned if you want to maximize your website's visibility. Now let's talk about on what is SEO and why it matters. Before we dive into the Wix settings, let's quickly cover the basics. Basically, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Now it's the process of optimizing your website to rank higher on search engines like Google and Bing. Now a good SEO means more organic traffic equals more potential customers, equals more sales or engagement. So even though Wix is a website builder, it now offers powerful built-in SEO tools that are on par with WordPress, Shopify, and other big platforms. In short, SEO isn't optional if you want your website to grow. It's absolutely critical. And so all of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below. So make sure to check it out. Now the first thing that we want to do is to go ahead and use the Wix SEO Wiz tool. To do that, let's just go ahead and log in into our Wix account. In my case, I'm going to be using one of my Google accounts right here. And right after that, it will then take us to our website's dashboard. Simply inside your own dashboard, you then want to navigate through the website that you want to optimize. In our case, let's select this specific website right here. Wait for the page to load in. And inside, you then want to click on settings. Inside settings, just navigate through the site, domain, and SEO. From here, you just want to navigate through the SEO tools. Now, it could be different for, for some other Wix website users, but I think in my case, it's going to be inside the SEO settings right here. And you just want to make sure that the let search engine index your site is enabled. Now, you want to keep this feature on for your site to appear in search results. This is the first step in order for us to optimize our SEO settings. Because if you disable this option off, our website will not go ahead and appear on websites like Google, Bing, and other search engines out there. And right after, you just want to navigate through your SEO settings once more. So to do that, click on settings, click on SEO settings, and from here, you just want to click on the SEO tab. From here, you simply want to start with the SEO checkup list. Now with this one, we'll be able to simply set up our SEO with using the feature of the SEO tools for Wix right here. Now this feature is simply called the Wix SEO Wiz. Now it's called the SEO Assistant. So from here, you just want to click on the Start Setup. And from here, we can start our SEO journey to get found on Google. Now you simply have to answer three questions so they can build personalized checklists for the site. You then have to complete all checklist tasks to set up this site for search engine results. And lastly, you then want to connect to Google and submit your homepage for fast indexing. So just click on the get started button and from here you will then be asked for something like your brand name, your business name and more. So let's just go ahead and put something random right here since this is only a tutorial. From here it will then ask you on where does this business serve its customers. Now this business serves customers from a physical address or this business serves customers nationwide, worldwide or interact with visitors only online. And so if you're someone like selling physical items on your own shop you can just go ahead and use the first one right here or if you're someone who simply sells something like e-services or e-products you can then go ahead and choose the second one to simplify the first one is a physical store and the second one is an online store so let's just navigate through the online store right here right after you then have to enter keywords that you want to use in the site's checklist now keywords are phrases usually two to five words long that help match your site with what customers enter into the search engine. They should describe your business and what it offer. 
something like online vintage comic book store. Now, in my case, the example is going to be e-products. So let's just go ahead and put something like ebooks right here because that also contributes to an e-product. So to go ahead and enter this keywords, you just want to enter your word right here. And right after you then want to put a comma and it will automatically enter that specific keyword. So let's add another one, comma, and from there, you just want to keep going on until you enter as much as you want right here. Now, I believe the limit is going to be five keywords. So you want to be precise with your own keywords. Now, this are the examples right here. For example, good examples are online mystery bookstore, comic book delivery shop, Spider-Man comic book subscription box. And the bad examples is going to be bookstore, order secondhand comic book and more. So if you want to go ahead and get some keyword ideas, you simply want to click on the button right here. This is free to use, so just go ahead and click on it. In our case, let's now go ahead and click on the next button. And simply right after that, we have successfully set up our SEO checklist on the go. Now you have to complete some steps in order for this to work perfectly. For example, you have to get the homepage ready for Google search. Now help the site to found online by completing the essential task. For example, we have something like the homepage title for search engine, add the homepage description, and more. So if you want to set this manually, you can just click on the go for it button. Or if you want to go ahead and connect with your site to Google Search Console, you just want to click on the go for it button. It will then link you to your Google account right here. Now for the final step, you simply want to keep building your website. Since this is only a demo website, I don't have my website right here ready. So it won't allow me to simply finish these steps right here. You basically want to optimize page titles and meta descriptions. So from there, you then want to simply go ahead and navigate through your structure because Google cares about your website structure. You want to use only one H1 heading per page. This should be your main title. You want to use H2s and H3s for subheadings to organize your content. And lastly, you want to make sure that you sprinkle keywords naturally throughout your content so no keyword stuffing. Now as a tip, you want to include your primary keywords early in the first paragraph if you can. Also, you want to make sure that your pages have at least 300 to 500 of high quality helpful content. Now, images aren't only for design. They matter for SEO too. You want to compress images to optimize loading speeds. Wix does this automatically, but double check large files. Now you can add the scripted file names before uploading. You can use alt text to describe the image, include keywords naturally when possible. And so, for example, instead of uploading image underscore 3482.jpg, you want to go ahead and rename it into something like custom logo design small business jpeg and so that's it that's everything you need to know about the seo wix website so as a quick recap you want to use the seo wix tool you want to optimize title description headings and images you want to make sure that your site is mobile friendly and if you apply everything from today's tutorial your Wix site will be fully optimized for search engines and ready to go grow organically. If this video has been helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and follow us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.